Here's a quick demonstration of painting the Star Fortress pieces. They're a little bit different dry brushing than what we're probably used to. Uh, what I've done for these, I've spray painted uh, this piece, this is one of the bases. Um, I've spray painted it solid black, so that's kind of an easy thing to do. You can take it outside and just, you'll notice that I've got it down into all the cracks. And that's kind of the tricky part, is to spray paint it in such a way that you get all the way down into the cracks that you need to. And what I'm going to do for the other colors, I'm going to use our medium castle gray, and then I'm going to dry brush lightly with our light castle gray. And this dry brushing is a little different than what we're used to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush it pretty heavily, and I'm not going to go too dry, but I am going to go fairly dry with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up my brush, and I'm going to wipe most of it out. But I'm not going to go as far as I usually do when taking paint out of the brush. You know, right about there is probably good. And I'm not going to try for several different shades of gray on this. What I'm going to do is just paint it solid gray. But the paint is thick enough and dry enough so that it doesn't go down into the fine little lines and details. So that's kind of the trick on this. What you can do is you can flip it over, paint it on the back side. And you notice that I'm not really painting too much. It looks like it's just kind of dry brushing quite a bit. I almost need a little more paint than that, okay? So, I mean, that's usually, that's kind of unusual for dry brushing because you want to go really light and not see in it for several strokes. But here, I actually want to see a few strokes. There we go. I think that's kind of pretty good right there. So, you know, you, you, you brush it out just a little bit and let's go ahead and see what happens on the surface of this. What I'm going to do is paint it on and you'll notice right away we have, you know, a solid blotch there. But that's okay. That's kind of what I want. I want it to be solid, but not so thick that it covers up all of the black line detail. What I'm doing is I'm kind of going for a, I don't know how to say it, kind of a cartoony, uh, illustrated design look on this. I don't really want lots of shades of gray. What I'm looking for is black and white. Uh, the main flat surfaces should pretty much should be solid gray and then the recesses should be solid black. So that's kind of what I'm going for on here. And when I start painting and it, it's like I have to paint and paint and paint and it's still not quite covering, that's when you have to re-dip uh, uh, re your brush into the paint. So what I've got here, you see this went really, really fast. Pretty much the front of this, that's done. And you can see all the detail, it all pops out. But it's still all really fairly smooth. Now you have to be sure to get way down into the cracks on this uh, when you do it. So I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to uh, start hitting the back side. And as I'm uh, hitting the back side here, let's see if I get it in the camera, uh, eventually it's going to be where my brush is, is uh, running out of paint. And you see it's like I'm painting over, but it's just not getting there. You see that? Where I'm painting it, but it's not turning solid. That's where you want to reapply uh, your brush, you know, brush into the uh, paper towel and uh, do it again. Now, eventually this piece is going to be hard to hold because, you know, I'm getting my fingers in the paint. So what you can do is just leave this, set it aside, and then once it's dry, you can continue painting it and then get the spots that you missed because you have to hold on to something. Okay, at this point, we've uh, had it spray painted solid black and we applied a uh, pretty heavy dry brush of medium gray. And now I'm on to the final step of lightly dry brushing the light gray on top of it. I do want to mention one thing before I continue here. It's also possible that I could have done this differently. Uh, one thing I considered doing is, after I'd glued the model together, just paint it solid medium gray and then apply a black wash to it. I could have done that. Uh, I actually considered it, but the problem was is that I cast this stuff out of gray dental stone. And I was afraid that if I painted gray dental stone medium gray, I wouldn't know where I've painted and where I haven't painted. And if I had missed a spot of gray paint, then any wash I would have applied would have soaked right into the plaster and turned it solid black. So if you're uh, doing this with uh, white dental stone or something else, I think it's possible. 
just to paint the whole thing a solid medium gray and then apply a black wash to it and then dry brush with the final light gray in that case but I think most of the lines came out I mean you can kind of see that there's some thin, thin lines on here and uh, you know it's it's probably not that critical if you don't see all of the fine lines because there's so much detail in this piece that I really don't think you're gonna miss anything okay so for the final dry brush we're gonna do this like we do all dry brush uh, or pretty much most dry brushes we're gonna go very carefully so what I'm gonna do is this is the light gray from the uh, castle gray colors and this is like a house paint straight I'm not gonna thin it it's just you know black and white paint mixed and I've got the recipe on the website I'll probably post it on here too so you can uh, uh, you know mix up what you need but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on the brush and you're going to wipe all of the uh, all of the paint off of your brush pretty much so you know if you paint over your hand and it's like I'm seeing some streaks on my hand there you know it's kind of hard to see it on a paper towel but I can kind of see it on my hand so I might want to take a little bit more paint out of it and what I want to do is very lightly go over it I don't want to push hard at all so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to very lightly go over the top surface and I really shouldn't see any brush strokes when I'm lightly going over this uh, now there's a lot of sharp edges on this particular thing so as I lightly go over I can see that I'm actually picking up some edges right here you see this that happened that's almost a little bit too much you know I, I almost don't want it frosted quite that amount so it tells me that I still got a little bit too much paint in my paintbrush so I'm going to uh, kind of wipe the wipe it out a little bit more a little bit more and then I'm going to go over it again I'm just going to lightly go over it and we're going to see uh, where you know it kind of comes out so I'm brushing over the pipes and I'm seeing a little bit on the pipes it still seems like a bit much so I think I'm going to try to get the excess paint off the brush by brushing over the floor a little bit and see if I can get some of that excess paint off of the brush okay I think at this point uh, I've got a bit of it off uh, so I'm just going to continue brushing over it brushing over it okay now I think I can kind of go over some of the details without it being too stark of uh, a light dry brushing that's going on so as I brush over the pipes you can see that I can see quite a bit of the white on the pipes and I still think that's a bit much but you know I don't know that it uh, you know I think we can do a little better than that but it does kind of bring out the detail in a nice way so I, I think we're, we're pretty good okay so I've got the pipes I've got the pipes on both sides that kind of makes them pop a little bit now we're going to work on the back that's right here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly go over it and I don't want to go too much just enough to kind of bring out the details in what's back there so I'm just kind of lightly brushing lightly brushing and there we go I think pretty much for the back wall those details pop out pretty nice I mean that's about all the dry brushing it takes you don't have to do a lot but you do have to get the right amount of paint on the brush before you do it in order to bring all these details out really nicely because I don't know because I'm lightly dry brushing here let's see if you can zoom in on the uh, the top of the tank do you see that you see how there's kind of almost a double line on top of there because the dry brushing is hitting it on the inside and hitting it on the outside it makes a really nice detail so if we were a bit sloppy with the medium gray dry brush when we were doing it really most of those things are going to uh, not even be seen when you do the really light dry brushing so what I've got there is I've pretty much got the back of this done and if we compare it to something that's not dry brushed okay see that's before and here's what it looks like after so a lot of those details by just a careful easy dry brushing are gonna pop out I think they're, they're gonna look really nice even though we didn't use any kind of a wash on this at all now there will come a point at when you know you're painting across and nothing happens and nothing happens and nothing happens and you push and then suddenly you get a whole lot of white uh, eventually this paint is going to be so dry in the brush that it won't want to apply to your piece at all uh, when the paint gets too dry 
in the brush, then we're going to have to kind of wet the paint down a little bit because, you know, the brush needs to be dry, but the paint, if the paint is too dry, it's not really going to go on. And that's kind of what's happening here. I mean, if you take a look at what's going on, I'm kind of applying it on, but it's it still doesn't want to apply very smoothly. You see, it's kind of blotching a little bit. And if I go lightly and lightly and lightly, it doesn't seem to want to go on. And if I push a little harder, then it's just getting white and not white, you know, because you can look at it, look at right there across the uh, piece there. So that tells me that the paint at this point is just getting a little bit too dry. It's better just to wash your brush out and dry it thoroughly. Make sure the brush is just bone dry. And then start fresh again with a fresh paper towel. And uh, a lot of times that's the best way. But yeah, you can see at this point that I finally kind of recovered from what it was doing. And now it's actually looking, it's actually looking pretty good now. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new piece. Uh, what do we got over here? Okay, well, we've got a new piece here. And what I can do is as I'm painting over the new piece, you know, just a few strokes here, it looks like I'm actually starting to get the details to pop out pretty nice. It's taken several strokes, but if you look at the way the center is acting here, now that I got my brush back right, you see how this is kind of popping out nice and smooth? That's what we want. And so, since my brush is in good shape, I'll apply more paint to the paper towel and wipe all of this excess paint out of the paint, you know, out of the brush. And you gotta take time and do that. And then, you know, you can try it on the bottom to make sure, okay, it looks like I'm getting some streaks on the bottom. So if I'm getting streaks on the bottom like that, I'm going to be getting streaks on my piece. And I don't want streaks on my piece. So, you know, I'll flip the paper towel, work it over on the back, get some of this excess out of the brush. And now let's try it here. Let's see what we've got. We're just going to go really lightly, really lightly. Okay. It still feels like there's just a bit much. Okay, there's a little blotchy that's happening there, but that'll kind of dry up and not be quite so bright. So I'm not going to panic quite yet. But you know, one every time you re uh, reapply paint to that brush, it's like you're starting from scratch. You know, you, you've got to try to to get just the right amount of paint. Just go over it very lightly. Okay, now it looks like the paint's kind of drying up a little bit. It's kind of getting off the brush, and now it's starting to act right. So my pipes here are starting to come out. You see the edge of the floor tile starting to come out really nice. Uh, we're going to go around here, and I got my radar dish. A lot of times the items like the radar dishes that you really want to come out nice, I save those for last. And I wait until the brush and the paint is acting just like I want it to act. And then you can kind of go over those and those things will pop out, you know, really nice. If you look at the piece right now, that actually looks pretty good. If you compare it to a piece that has not been dry brushed, you can kind of see a big difference of what's happening. It really, I think it really came out nice.